thank you to everybody who is gathering here today. I just want to say first of all, to introduce this demonstration, a massive solidarity to every single working class person, either preparing for or taking industrial disputes, withdrawing their labour in the RMT, in Unite the Union, in the NEU, in the CWU, in PCS, in GMB, FBU, Unison, ASLEF, to all of them who are standing up for their terms and conditions and their safety. Good afternoon and welcome to Trafalgar Square. I am the National Secretary of the People's Assembly and this demonstration today is a demonstration against austerity. It's a demonstration against the cost of living crisis and it is for a general election. This demonstration is a protest against the greed of those who take millions and billions of pounds from the pockets of working class people and they make our lives miserable in the process of doing so. And we are here to stand up against the political class who are complicit and who entrench those conditions. But we have to acknowledge this. It is not about individuals, is it? This is how the economic system works. It is, job, it is the job of the economic system to derive profit ruthlessly from working class people, from our labour, from our resources, from the planet, irrespective of the cost to every single person here. There is no morality to the system, not an ounce of morality to the capitalist system. No moral wrangling. There isn't a drop of sweat that drips from the millionaires and the brilliardaires foreheads when they think about what they do next to get even more profit. The ruthlessness of that ideology pulls wealth further and further into the hands of a tiny minority of people. And to do that, they also have to pull power further and further away from us. The Tories in government are propping up this failing economic system at the expense of us all. And we see these most brutal attacks on our communities, in our homes, and the, tra the strain is felt by us in our workplaces, in our homes and in our communities. And at the People's Assembly, we want us to take a long view of austerity, a long view of what they've done to us. Let's think about it. Children centres, libraries, swimming pools, leisure centres, cut, gone, shut down. The social security system and big up to Deepak, by the way, who've been campaigning on this for years. The social security system decimated before our very eyes. The pay of working class people attacked every year, rapid outsourcing and privatisation and millions of people in poverty. And alongside that, a fundamental attack on our civil liberties, and we're going to hear about that today. The ability to vote for a Prime Minister, just being one example, a tiny minority of people in that building down there, deciding on all of our behalfs who was going to be our Prime Minister, to impose another round of brutal austerity, but also the police crime court and sentencing bill, the public order legislation, the Nationality and Borders Act, the agency labour, all destined to try and stifle and break our struggle against them. They have become more authoritarian as our conditions worsen. And for what? For what? It's to maintain the status quo. So we have to stand up, we have to rise up, and we have to make them feel our power. I'm going to be chairing this rally today. And this demonstration is a very important marker to say as a class that we are getting organised. Because it is only when working class people come together as an organised force that we will put pressure on the economic and political system. We need them to take notice. We need them to be scared of us. I want that political class to be scared of us. I want them to feel our power and ultimately 
be there will feel our power, won't they? They're going to feel our power in our workplaces, in our communities and on the streets. So, a general election is really just the start. Our discontent goes much deeper, doesn't it? And so do the answers. And we must admit, and this is an important point, that a demonstrably weak opposition led by Keir Starmer, when in government, will be faced with the same economic conditions and the same contradictions that this government are faced with and trying to appeal on the right-wing press and the market. So when it comes to it, if they are on government, they will feel our power as well. <laughs> of poverty, free of war, we can imagine a world where no child is hungry, where no worker is broken, but to see that and to feel that and to make it happen, we must organise and take that power for ourselves. We are in the battle of our lives, for our livelihoods, for our planet. We will rise to that challenge in every single sense, in every community, in ruthless defense of our class.